Hello and welcome to another tutorial. Since I got so many requests how I created Mongo Door, I thought let's do a quick tutorial and I even made a preset which you can download for free. You find the link in the description. I started with this photo. I made a selection of the trees and basically I masked the, the reflection here because we're going to create it ourselves. So I just masked it out. So we just have these trees left. To control the selection, I always create a dark layer, put it below the selected layer with the masked trees, and we see we have that problem with the with the fringe. So what I'm going to do, I double click on the mask and just drag here the radius to the right to get rid of the fringe. Hit OK. It's better now, but it still has that fringe. What I'm going to do, I duplicate the new layer by, by dragging it up. Sorry, by dragging it up and then I click on right click on the mask I say apply layer mask it's actually nothing else than the same as the below but without layer mask then I go to layer sorry layer base and say delete the whites bam we got rid of the fringe and we can control it by just um, deselecting the background so we have our trees now we have to make the picture ready or the trees ready for the preset we need to make some amendments because the preset is made for the very green niche tones so you have to make some adjustments in advance i add a color adjustment layer color and saturation and then i move the green tones up so we you see it's going to be red so we have it even more darker green like so and also the yellows I don't want them red or pink or whatever. I just drag it to the right about, I don't know, 19 or so. So when we can move it now, we get rid of the really like yellow tones and have a more, these more saturated green tones. Then you already can apply or you make a stamp up. No, you can use the pro panel for a stamp up. Then you just have to put actually just hit one if you go here, one click and you have a stamp bar or you go to Control shift alt e to make a stamp up. It's nothing else than bringing everything onto one layer, you know. And that's the effect because we're going to duplicate the layer. That's why it looks like it's nothing, not the same, but it's the same. On the layer here, on the stamp up layer, I already made a smart object by going right click, convert to smart object. Then I'll go to filter, Luminar Neo, and then you can apply my preset. The preset is called Mangrove Door. You can find it, the link to the preset, it's free. You can find it in the description. Here we are in Lumino Neo. To load my, my preset, you go to Add here, and then you select it from your desktop or wherever you have it on your, on your hard drive. And then I have it still here. So you can apply, this is my uh, preset, you can apply it and hit OK. If you want, you can make some adjustments. Um, but basically it pretty much works. Here we have it. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna create a background. Well basically first we're gonna crop it. Let's crop it first to our size because I want to have it for Instagram so I make it uh, cropping like so. But first I'm gonna check um, what size we have of the picture. Oh that looks fine. So we have after we have it about 4000 pixels in height. That's okay. So we don't need to, but basically we, since we are going to change, make it smaller, our pie, um, our mangrove, I'm going to take it a bit up, hit OK. Now it's going to reopen Luminar Neo because of the cropping, so it takes a while. If you are clever, you do the crop before, of course. So let's move that layer, Control T to approximately the size we want to have it. We can change it and fix that later, but just... Uh, it makes it more easy so we keep it like so here we go then let's add our background and make a new gradient layer i prepared a gradient i'm going to show you how it was made so on the left side we have 0c 0d 0e 100% opacity in the middle also 100% opacity 32373c okay and on position here on the right on position 96 
we have db d6 dc so you can follow along and of course it's 100 percent capacity as well so let's take that one and to highlight the middle i'm just gonna finish that and it's not linear of course it's reflected and we have to take the middle point of the lighter version of the lighter side in the middle hit ok and to highlight i zoom out a bit and to highlight the middle part i'm gonna make a selection yeah i would say about here we can change later then i take foreground color white here on the left side take another gradient the white 100 percent white to zero percent white and also reflect it like so hit ok so we have that highlight in the middle you can change it just by Control T on the mask and then you just can move that around if you want. If you don't like the position or want to move it later, you can do that. So let's um, put that in the right position. Now what we're going to do, we need to duplicate that. I hold L to my keyboard and drag it to below and then say reflection for the above from the trees. Then I convert it to a smart object. I name it reflection. Then I can work, convert it to a smart object, Control T to transform. I, I drag the middle point below, here, about here, right click, flip vertically, here we go. So sometimes you need to make some adjustments here, you know, but um, that make, looks fine. So um, sometimes you need, make, you need to make some adjustments, but in, uh, basically that looks fine. Now we have to add the reflection. Or the effect, a reflection effect actually. So if there are two things you have to do. Go to filter, then you go to motion blur, and I take motion blur in vertically, that means 90, 90 degrees, and about 15 or so, 11, it's fine, just just a, a little, little bit. And now we need to, to make that reflect even more, so we have to feel the feeling of a re water reflection, and this is gonna go with filter, distortion, this place and then you need to have 10 and 40 it's actually basically a bit uh, de de depending on what kind of displacement map you're using I put a link in the description where you can download some displacement maps so you, sometimes it's just to figure out which with terms um, which numbers you have to put in to get, get the right effect so now I go to my all kind of water reflections I have a couple of displacement maps I think this could be working make it work. yeah it looks not bad so now we have to figure out if that is looking right because this sometimes is going to get looking really weird here so what we're gonna do since we have now this um, smart object filter mask we go on the filter mask take our brush with black in the foreground and I think I make it quite hard 80% or so so we're gonna just remove that away because that is kind of weird you know um, because this is not real, so we just remove those here. The, but the where we don't like it, so I don't like it here. I think the rest is pretty much okay. Yeah. So on top of that, you can even do, uh, I take the, the pro panel. Sometimes I use that lux filter. It's just a, um, a curves adjustment layer, which, can, which everything makes a bit more pop, you know. But I don't want to have this lux filter on the tree, so I hit control on my keyboard and click on our tree I have the tree in my selection go to my layer mask I have black in the foreground hold alt on my keyboard and hit delete so we don't have that on our um, on our tree and same I do with the reflection control D to reselect I do control on my keyboard hit on the reflection go to my locks filter Hold Alt and Delete to cover it. You can do that in once actually by Control click on the first and holding Shift and click on the second so you can select them in once. But now we still have to make some adjustment to our reflection here. You can do that first or after making reflection because it's too bright. So what I'm going to do, I convert that to a smart object. Then I go to Filter, Comma Raw Filter because in Reflections uh, the colors aren't that bright, you know, and um, so I make some adjustments in the luminosity for the for the oranges and the yellows, and also I think go tighten down the saturation a bit, and this is a kind of uh, trying out what works. And I take off 
the brightness generally, the lights and the whites. And I hit take down saturation also a bit, but we need to check that. But since it's a smart object, this is gonna work. But I think this looks pretty good, like so. So here we go. I hope you can find this helpful. As I said, you find my mangrove door preset in the description so you can download and use it. And if you like, you can send me your pictures what you created with it. But basically, you just need to make sure that your basic greens before you convert it to a smart object to apply your preset in Luminar Neo, you need to make sure that you have the right colors. For example, when your tree contains oranges or greens, it's going to be orange as well. So uh, you may you maybe have to mask it first or make uh, some adjustment in 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 pre priority. Um, so. But how I really like that. I really like the effect and it looks so cool. I hope you can use it. Thanks for watching. Wow, 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 wow.